Hey guys, so today is moving day. Billy just went to go get a rental van and we're about to load all of our stuff up. Today's our last day on Neverland. Jay's sad. We have not found a cat yet, so as of now, we are living in between Billy's dad's and my parents, back and forth from Florida to here, looking at boats, so we'll let you know as soon as we find one. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Just taking the dogs for a walk here, right along the waterfront. Today is the day where we're gonna start moving off the Neverland. So I'm just gonna check in, make sure everything went smooth with, uh, make sure everything's going smooth with our transaction and then we're gonna start moving off and maybe close on her to this evening or tomorrow. We'll see. Crazy. Oh. Just picked up this big old rental truck. We're gonna try to do it in a minivan from like Enterprise or something, but we decided we had too much stuff. And if boards didn't fit on the roof, we definitely had too much stuff. Put a little minivan, so we got this bad boy. Trip number two. so empty in here. Counters are empty. Beaver is pretty empty. Look at it. It is completely empty. Probably so much lighter now. Bye bye home. Bye Neverland. We're gonna miss you. Neverland. Are you sad that we're on another boat, not our boat? Yeah, but look who's in front. Is this your guys' first time on a ferry? <laughs> we're rich! We're at the bank right now. I'm about to deposit the most money I've ever touched in my entire life. Jenny wants some new bones. Alright, we just deposited that check where it is now a little bit more safe than having it in my hand. What are we doing, Sierra? Unpacking to organize in order to repack. We're at my dad's house right now. We're gonna stay here for a couple days and we've just, we decided we have way too much stuff, especially if we're moving on a catamaran and weight is everything, especially if we want a little bit of performance. So we're trying to get rid of as much as possible and just organize everything. I know. How are we doing? You know you're a lifeguard when you have about 20. We are pretty much getting there. Some of this junk is my dad's laying around, but I think we pretty much, we're getting there, we're getting there. All right, so this is it. This is pretty much everything, this like middle section right here. 
We're in my dad's garage. That's like everything. So our whole truck filled before. We compacted it down to this and we got rid of like two entire garbage cans full. Now that's not including clothes. We got some clothes inside. Or Our surfboards. Surfboards and like kites and stuff. But that's it. And fishing bowls. Oh. And spear fishing stuff. But like, and at the same time, a lot of this stuff is tools that are not going to be permanently on the our new boat. And like supplies, like uh, hardware and uh, just a ton of boat supplies that we may need. Half of it. Half of it is stuff that is not going to go on the yeah. boat. Yeah, of yeah. course. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the hams of the highest order. Can we say Bill's name and everything? Sure. All right. Yeah. Well, we're saying goodbye to Neverland. This is Neil. This is Don. They checked out the boat for their friend Bill. And uh, Bill's going to be taking over the boat and staying here in Newport Harbor. So if you guys are around Newport, don't bother him too much. But if he's outside, say hey real quick. What I say is that, you know. The man himself. <laughs> Safe. On second note, now we're driving this thing 100 miles back to New York. And it's already raining. You warm? Yeah, you gotta put your PFT on, huh? Alright, we drove, we left Long Island at 3 2 30. 2.30 this morning. We drove the, the rent, the, the truck that we used to move all our stuff down to my dad's house from Newport up here. And we drove it all the way back up to Newport so that we could pick up the whaler, drop the truck off. And now we're driving the whaler. Away from Everland. All the way from Newport to Long Island. Not just to Long Island, to East Iceland, the South Shore Central of Long Island. It's gonna take a few hours. Quite a few. A couple stops for fuel. So we got our safety gear, GoPros, of course, Spot, our personal EPIRB device, and we have our iPad with Navionics. Oh, and we also have our waterproof VHF radio. I think we're good. What do you think? Wish us luck. We made it to the mouth of the harbor. We have Point Judith right here behind us. We're about like 45, 40 minutes into our trip. Soaking wet, small swell, maybe like a two foot swell with a light chop on top, making it just a little bit annoying. Just off of Block Island, kind of covered in the fog over here. You can't really see it. We stopped because there's something in the water up here. I don't know if it's like a dead sea turtle or... How sick would it be if there are sharks on it? Looks like a sea turtle. Huge. Don't fall in. What do you think it is? It's my leather rack that I saw. Aww. What do you think it was? It's a leatherback sea turtle. They're super endangered. We just made it to Montauk. Just in time because the engines have started acting pretty funny. <laughs> Hopefully it's just a box fuel filter. We stopped in Montauk to get lunch. <laughs> and food and find a dryer and we found all at the Star Yacht Club. Star Island Yacht Club. Star Island Yacht Club. So far we went 37 miles, 2 hours and 13 minutes. 
we're lucky that this place had some dryers, so we just threw our clothes in for a quick round to to get a little bit dry, a little bit dry for our next run here. I think we're probably about a third of the way, 37 miles, probably have another, a third, almost half of the way. So we're getting there, we're leaving Star Island now, heading for Shinnecock. Rain, rain died down just a tiny bit, but still drizzling. through the, the Shinnecock lock it was just open so you just pass right through but it look looks like this time they closed it off so we're gonna have to lock through I think So we were just cruising under Ponquag Bridge, and I knew my cousin was around here somewhere, but we just ran into him. They're about to go for a scuba dive under here. Got some guys catching little striped bass over here. Made it to West Hampton. How many more miles? Maybe like 30 more miles to go or something? It stopped raining. Finally stopped raining, and we see a little glimpse of sunlight here and there. To get dark. That was a long day. That was over 100 miles in one day in a 16 foot boat that's 50 years old. If we do have a hot shower though. Yeah, <laughs> thanks Deb. Who can say they went from Newport to the South Shore of Long Island in a 16 foot boat? In the pouring rain. And the, yeah, this morning was disgusting. The weather got beautiful though. It is the glassy water right now. The sky is putting on a little show here during sunset. We told the guy at the fuel dock that we came from Newport and he's like, in this weather? Are you crazy? <laughs> oh my God, what a crazy day. 